Fishbowl Radio Network, D.D. Ingram, who this is? Hey, is this me? This is me, whoever me is. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Phil the Failure calling, aka the Failure. Um, really loving the show, loving what you guys are doing. Well, you guys got the the stadium behind you on yep. the stream. That's really cool. What, what 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 is is that the ballpark in Arlington? What, what are we talking about? It's Globe Life Park, but this is where they used to play. Well, they actually play yeah. across the street now. They they actually there's a game getting ready to go on now, but they actually play across the street, and we're in the old stadium. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Um, now I'm, a, I'm the reason they call me Phil the Failure is because I, I always fail at doing the cold opens. I'm part of Murky's Minion. Basically, Murky's a legendary cold open master. He's got minions who do the cold opens for him. Sometimes I'm Phil the Failure. I always fail. So I'm going to ask you to say, let's start the show. You're probably going to say, no way, I'm not going to say it, and then I'll fail at the cold open. But if you want to, you can say, let's start the show, and then I'll actually succeed, which is will be very strange. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that something you want me to? I can do. Is that something you want me to do now? Yeah. If you say let's start the show, then I actually succeed, and this is this is honestly this will be a first. So okay. this will be amazing. Well, let's make it happen. Let's start the show. Oh my goodness! This is this is my the biggest day of my life. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. The failure, the success. We like it all, man. All right. That was different. That was different. Hey, that's that's what's up, though, man. <laughs> Forget everything that you think you know, cause NEAS is now a show. Give it up for your host, Chris One. Hey everyone, it's me again, your host, Chris One in name and Chris One in your heart. And I'm in a little bit of trouble this week because I guess there's no such thing as casual week and everyone's super pissed at me and they asked me to make it very, very formal for this episode, which is quite difficult because there's a heat wave here in Vancouver and I guess uh, everywhere in the world for some reason. In fact, it's so hot in my apartment that I feel like Drake um, because I'm surrounded by fans. We paid $3,700 for that joke and I don't give a fuck, it's not my money. Let's head over to the desk. All right, everyone, I'm over here at the desk and I forgot to do the unique thumbnail pose because it's so fucking hot that this is the worst thing that I've ever had to do in my entire life. But here's the pose for you this week. That should be a nice one for everyone. I'm not talking to Chris 2, by the way, because there's an ongoing investigation into the disappearance of Chris 3, and he's the prime suspect, and the investigating officer told me not to talk to him. So we're just going to move on to the episode, and it's a beauty, folks, as we've got calls from Butch, Officer Steve, the Stooge crew, and a new segment, Daryl Craft, Touring Comedian. First things first, though, the My Pillow Guy... First things first, though, we called Mike Lindell to offer him an interview, and his response was very troubling. Check it out. You guessed it. Frank Stallone is on the phone. Hello. Hey, Mike, Jim Sack with News Corp. You be down for an interview, an uh, on-air interview next week at any time? Um, who's this? I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. 
Uh, Jim Corp. Sack with, with News Corp. We, we have a new program, a new interview uh, program that's coming out, and we're interested in you potentially being the first guest. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think what News Corp is. Um, well, we have a lot of shows. Uh, uh, like the We're sort of the parent company. Um, we have a lot of networks and shows, but the particular program we're interested in having you on uh, is called the Tinfoil Hat Dipshit Hour. Get up! Get yourself together! Mm -hmm. right yeah so we wanted you to be the the first guest we think you'd be a a wonderful first guest oh really so you guys so you're so um, you know i'm tracking your number and we're gonna get you arrested you're you're something else ladies and gentlemen the showstoppers never been so scared yeah Chilled right to the bone Cause the my pillow guy is tracking my phone And the FBI agents will be showing up at my home Sorry honey, you'll be spending Christmas alone Cause I called the my pillow guy's phone Never been so scared of my life if I called the my pillow guy's phone Officer Steve has had a difficult time lately picking a fight but this week he found a father-son duo that was really willing to mix it up with them Check it out. All units, please respond. We've got a hostile radio host. Please be advised. The suspect is non-compliant. Authorization for full force. 8397 w Let's go to the phones. Good morning. You're at the breakfast club. Who we got? Hey, this is Steve calling in. How are you guys? I'm good, Steve. What's going on? Well, um, I'm a law enforcement officer. I've never spoken to you. I think I have spoken to maybe your co-host before. Uh-huh. Okay. Perhaps. Um, but I'm sort of, uh, I'm interested how you guys seem to know everything about how a police investigation works and and how information is shared and, oh, we need to know the identity of who shot this, uh, this woman during this, uh, awful insurrection. And uh, I'm curious if you guys are supporters of the police and if you guys have respect for law enforcement. Oh, without a doubt, Steve. All day long. But, 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 Steve, how long has it been? How long? How long has what been? How Since long January. Have I been a no, no, officer? no. Eleven years. No, Eleven Steve. Years I've no, been a Steve. Officer. Obviously, you're very aggressive, Steve. So that's fine. You can be aggressive. But no, I said, how long has it been since this investigation was was held? January. Well, 6th. I just want to say thank thank you for giving me permission to be aggressive. It, it, I I don't believe you do have respect for law enforcement. Just judging on how you're speaking to me when I identify myself no, as no. an LEO. No, it so I'm immediately like supposed to, you're obviously, no, you're obviously coming out in an aggressive, and I don't know you, Steve, you can say you're a law enforcement officer, I have no clue if you are or not, but that's oh, fine, if you are, no, no, whether or not no, I'm no. actually a law enforcement officer, that's Steve, very interesting. Steve, I, I would, anybody I can love, call the show, to... anybody can call the yes. show and say anything they want, without knowing you personally, I have no way of knowing whether or not you're a law enforcement officer. If you are, I, I, res- uh, you, I respect you, you for your service. You'd know, I promise well, Steve, you, you'd know, I'd make sure you know. I'd well, make Steve, sure you I would, know if I ever saw someone like you, a, a loud mouth like you. I, I'd, I'd make sure that you know I'm a law enforcement I'm officer. I'm a loud mouth. Uh, Steve, you come on my show, absolutely. and you've immediately started your attacking show? me. For, for I've never even seen you before. Are you a guest host? Are, are you? Is this your show? Tom I don't a. think it's your show. Tom A. and I are guest host of this show every single day so you're a guest host or you're the real host i've never seen you before to, to me you seem like somebody different i'm, I'm used to steve. speaking with the regular guy i got an agreement with the regular guy that's how it works with law enforcement steve. go steve. ahead Continue, okay please. Uh, but go you, ahead. Go what ahead. is what is your issue exactly that i was upset because we still don't know the name of the officer who supposedly shot ashley babbitt yeah that's how we have to do things sometimes sometimes an investigation six we have months to keep stuff close 
Six months. Yeah, so, sometimes it takes years. What do you they know have, about so it? What, Are you out there on the front lines? What do you know about look, it? What do you Steve, know about anything? Steve? What, you're... you're, you're you're, you're worse than Antifa. No. People like you are worse than Antifa. No, What's Steve. happening to conservatives nowadays when they want to Steve, fight against police Are officers? you supposedly so conservative? Am I supposedly I'm conservative? I'm asking. What kind of law enforcement officer is liberal? Oh, what, what world do you live in? Have you not, no. met, have you not met any sheriffs in, in, in Doniana County? Have I met any sheriffs in Donia? What What are you talking about? You're. I'm a talking goon, about the man. sheriff, you're, you're, t- Steve. You're, you're a not goon even. It, Steve, you're too- have it. Have it. Look, I'm going to turn you off if you're not going to actually it's make a, a valid point. Look, look, All you're doing is arguing. How, look how aggressive you're being with your posture. Okay, with your this hands is in insanely front. hypocritical. Step back from the camera. Yeah. Don't step don't 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 camera, yell please. don't yell and say that you're you're being aggressive whenever you're literally raising your voice at. At my dad. Who's talking to me right now? Who are you? Who, I'm his son, who, and I'm, I'm, I'm sticking up for him because you. if you're a law enforcement officer— Oh, now we got two-on-one. Now we got two-on-one. Oh, this is great. I would be Steve. detaining both of you right now. Yeah, I'd Steve. be detaining both of you. Steve, this guy wants if to you're come, what, he wants for what would you be t- detaining Steve, you're, you're, you're detaining us for having, for, for having a conversation? Because if you're going to detain us, you don't belong correct. in law enforcement. I, mean, I would be detaining you. I would welcome. I would welcome any of the law. No, 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 no. I would love. I would love for to meet you face to face. Law enforcement officers. Don't I do respect. Okay? I do respect law enforcement extremely. You don't. You, don't you have no clue. What? If you respect it. Steve, I don't no, believe wait, for wait, a wait. second. I don't believe for a second you're a police officer. And if you are, please c- come to the studio. I welcome you to come in and be a- be on the live. But I'm turning you off because I don't believe for a second there is not a police officer on the planet that would call into a radio show and disrespect the badge the way you have just done. That is absolutely insane. I don't know who you are or who you're pretending to be, but if you are honest to God a police officer and you can cons- you claim to be a conservative. I don't know how you could have listened to this show from for one day and you say you the regular host. You don't even know who the regular host is. What is his name? You didn't even know. I've been on this show every day. You don't know what my name is. That's fine. I'm fine with that. But you're going to come on. You're going to claim to say, you know what my politics are, and what my positions are. I've got literally hundreds of law enforcement officers throughout this part of the state that would step up and would testify to the fact that I support our law enforcement 150%. People like you are part of the problem. People like you who come on this radio show and just immediately go on the offensive without it. I'll have a conversation. I'll have the conversation with the most liberal person on the planet. I'm sorry. And you're going to take offense over everything we've ever said, talking about the fact that we still don't know the identity of the police officer who shot Ashley Babbitt. And there are liberals in the police force. You can ask anybody who works for a police force that there are people who are liberals. We got several calls coming in. Let's go to the phones. Good morning, you're on being the Breakfast Club. Who we got? What's going on, guys? Hey, what's up, Mike? Hey, not much. This guy sounds like a jackass. Happy birthday, Mike. We need to get a hold of his supervisor and report him. That's ridiculous. Well, I've I... always supported him. So, police officers. So Steve, if, if you know if you know a Steve that sounds like that and, and, and he actually does work for the police department, I'd be curious to find out. And which one? I don't believe for a second you're a police officer. We don't love to call the same show and do the same segment two weeks in a row, but we were afraid that this guy was going to finally cut off his Three Stooges haircut, and so we knew we had to call him back this week. Check it out. <laughs> Call your live on K Talks. Your hair certainly looks great today. <laughs> Thank you. Who are oh, you talking to me? Talking to me? Well, who is this? Who is this? Oh, it's Mo, young man. I talked to you before. I'm a big Three Stooges fan, and I'm appreciative of your Three Stooges haircut. I think it looks fantastic. Do I look like a Three Stooges? Um. Um. Yeah, Mo, maybe. you look like the one. Maybe. Mo, yeah. They they yeah. know it's true. They know it's true. And yuck, 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 yuck. And do you have anything intelligent to say? <laughs> Do you, have, do you have anything uh, intelligent poor, to say? Poor Mike. <laughs> poor Mike. 
<laughs> oh man. No, he doesn't. I don't think I uh, yeah. look like. Uh, no, you look like yeah, a so. old LA surfer guy. Old, old, old. LA sur- which old is kind of what you are, right? Old, old. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. You don't stuff. look that old, actually. But uh... Uh, I'm, I'll, uh, I'm, I'll, uh, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll take that over uh, three stooges. Yeah. Uh, but see what I have to put up with. Yeah, no respect in this town. Uh, yeah, that that probably California. I right? think that's somebody we might somebody yeah i was wondering it's yeah yeah it's a kind of somebody trying to get re- even for things yeah you know well, least, whatever whatever keeps him from beating his wife yeah yeah i yeah. mean yeah and, and get and getting drunk in public yeah and, and having yeah. your neighbor beat your ass <laughs> <laughs> moving on we decided we wanted a resident stand-up comedian here at NEAS, and unfortunately Gary Anderson and Steven Risk weren't available, so we went to the third choice on the list. It's conservative touring stand-up comedian Daryl Kraft. Check it out. Your next comedian tours all over the country. Give it up for Daryl Kraft. I believe we have a caller for you on the line that he wants to talk about uh, transgenderism, I guess. You're on with us. us. Hey, Joe, uh, quick question. Did you ever consider changing your name to Joe Mahira because you're more so heard than seen? I'm more so (laughs) heard than seen. (laughs) I'm I'm just messing around. I'm I'm a touring stand-up comedian, actually. Uh, My name's Daryl Kraft, and the the craft is easy for me. (laughs) (laughs) No, but uh, seriously, Joe, do you think there's a place for conservative comedians in today's society? I'm serious about that, Joe. I haven't worked in three years. Pre-pandemic, I wasn't working, run out of the business by way of never being allowed in and only getting to do open mics and also having other comedians not respect me. What's happening to the world these days? Do they need a safe space, Joe? Kids don't even know how to do cursive. They think it means swearing and they need their safe space. Spaces aren't... Safe are you, kids. Are you doing your show safe, right Joe? now? <laughs> Anyways, if anyone knows any paying mics in Poughkeepsie, please let me know. Have a good night, Joe. Bye. I think Peach just did the show. His show. Hey, not bad. And, um, and, um, Pete, if you're still listening, yeah, reach out to Evan and say it. He's our conservative guy now. He's out yeah. there pounding pavement. Good guy. Conservative comedian. And uh, he puts it out there. A lot of people find Butch to be quite funny and they laugh at his calls. But did you ever wonder what Butch thinks is funny? Well, if he didn't, then you're very selfish. But if he did, then you're in luck because we find out this week. Check it out. Well, he loves to talk, but he don't know Butch. He's your favorite caller and his name is Butch. We need to look ahead. To, to 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 fix these election integrity issues uh, state by state as many legislators are already doing and then we need to win in 2022 and take back the white house in 2024 it's the only chance this country's got uh, butch, uh, butch you're on the radio. radio hey it's butch hey welcome in Hi, thank you. I love your program so much. Um, been a listener for a long time. I know I even watch on a YouTube. I, I see. Uh, what is your, what is your shirt? Um, oh, your shirt is fu- is funny. Socialist <laughs> distancing on it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> like I keep away from a socialist. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Because, but uh, but normally the thing is uh, social distancing is the one that we know it so well. He loves to talk, but he don't know much. He's your favorite caller, and his name is Butch. But it's a sort of a different take on it. Yeah, my friend uh, Nick Shore had those printed up on T-shirts. Yeah. Oh, you know a friend make make them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, he was selling them for his uh, Senate campaign. So there you have it. Oh, you know a friend is in a does a Senate campaign? Did he win? Uh, no, no, he's he's doing it uh, next time around. He's running for the Senate next time around. Butch, what was your point? Um, that guy, last guy, he lost a train of thought. It made me think of me some a little bit. My point is on Donald Trump. Um, with the with the Donald Trump election, a lot of people is talk about it, and basically, it's you are saying, but is Trump is lose for sure? Then definitely. That that 
There it is. There it is. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, officially, Joe Biden is it w- was sworn into office on the 20th. I call him Sleepy Biden. I call him a <laughs> Sleepy Biden. I say, I say, I and I have a funny photograph I share on a Facebook, and it's him, and he, and he uh, has to wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that the other day. Hey, Butch, yeah, I appreciate, I, I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your call. Let me get to Marvin here on line one. Marvin, good morning. All right, that's the end of this episode, and I'm very excited because it means that I can go and basically get into a cold bath. It's tremendously hot. Also, really, really hoping that Chris, too, is not responsible for what the police say he is responsible for, uh, although at this point it does not look good. But what does look good is the bonus episode this week. And folks, it really is the best of the season. I can say that. It's got JJ behind the scenes and a Patriot Pete video call. You're not going to want to miss it over at patreon.com slash not even a show. And now I'm going to dip my butt into some ice. (laughs) I don't know. Why did I say it? 